Right, so today we are going back out on site and we're doing a little bit of building work. We're putting down the headphones and we're going to make some mess on site. But we're going to be working around a very special guest house. I'm not going to tell you who just yet, but she's a celebrity and she's once been on Celebrity MasterChef. I'm looking forward to this one. You looking forward to today then? Yeah, I'm actually well excited. We haven't seen her since the old Nat West podcast. I oh, know, I was thinking that. That was months and months ago since we saw her last. I thought I worked round her house when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, legitimately yeah. thought I worked round her house when we when, when I was younger, plastering. Yeah. And it turns out it wasn't her. <laughs> it must have been someone it else. It must have been someone else who was doing children's TV at the time. I rem cause I remember her doing BBC. Um C B B C yeah. C B B C she done. Yeah. I used to watch it. And I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's she's not an actress as such. No, no, she's a presenter. She's a presenter, isn't she? Right, looking forward to seeing her again, I'll tell you that for sure. Mate, this door is nice. That's a lovely colour, look at that. Looks like my mum. <laughs> Hello. You right, darling? In. Yeah, lovely. Put the kettle on. Hi, my name's Angelica Bell and I'm a television and radio presenter. People might know me from CBBC back in the day. I worked on The One Show, The Martin Lewis Money Show, Chelsea Flower Show. I've got a radio show on Magic. Magic. I wouldn't say I was a jack of all trade master of none, but some might say that. So I've been involved in a massive renovation. I moved into a house that was built in 1860 and just needed everything done. Rewiring, plumbing. Ceilings had to come down. There was asbestos here. I mean, it was insane. The wall builders have messaged and said, do you need some help? Which was like music to my ears. I nearly started crying. But there was damp appearing in the lower ground floor and it was because the rendering had sort of blown. So they're here to help and to sort it. Before we get into the graft outside, so we come and do a bit of rendering today. Angelica rang us up and said, boys, I need some help. So we said, we'll come down. We've got our mate Yagaman, Chris to do a bit of rendering with us. And we're going to do all that and we're going to make it right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But before that, never come empty handed. Never go to someone's house, especially Angelica's house, empty handed. So I got up this morning, early doors. Yeah. And then before we come here, I went down to the seaside because I live by the beach. Yes. I put my windows on and I went and found something that I've been told that you love. Oh my god. Alright, now this is all the way from sunny West Sussex, Chichester. Which I appreciate. I've hand got this. So I've got the snorkel on. Picture it. I'm in my wellies, I've got my yellow suit on, I look like the fisherman out the other. Yeah. And I've gone swimming with my goggles on and I've got these. And I've been told that you love an oyster. Oh! <laughs> and they got people. They must have people working for them. Because they're so busy, how do they get all that information? In fact, why are they so nosy? Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never ever tasted one. I've never opened one. I wouldn't know how to open it. But he's got the oyster knife. You're going to have to show us how to open it and then neck one and then either one as well. I don't want to eat oysters. I don't like oysters. They're slimy. They're ugly. They're disgusting. <laughs> You up for it? I'll do it. Yeah? Come on! Well, I need time. I need time. I just told you <laughs> she'd do Thank it. Thank you so much for the present. <laughs> yeah, go. Why are they here now? <laughs> <laughs> They've clearly done their research to wind me up because the worst thing I could ever do is to eat an oyster on live TV. I tried it once. I doubt it'll go down again. We've just come up to see what renovation's been done or what she's doing. That is lovely in there. If you go in there in a minute and have a look at that, the wallpaper, it's like a William Morris style, isn't it? It's so nice. It's so nice with them green tiles. I'll tell you what, she's got a very, very keen eye. To be honest, the toilet didn't look all that. Do you know what I mean? It sort of needed redecorating. It's not, it's not the nicest, is it? It looks like a pub toilet. If you like it and it's in your house, put it up. Who gives a monkey's what anyone else said? Another very, very lovely room, I've got to say. This is nice. And inside this room, my darlings, we've got a closet. It's like a secret door to a room. And I was having a little look in the cupboard. I was a little bit shocked to find what I found. Do you want to see? 
just blankets and towels really, but that's all it was, but it's just a nice cupboard. Having the ball builders at my house is a big deal because when they are on site, they mean business and they want to get the job done. Well, I have seen something else I quite like, and that's a hoover. The old woman's been asking for one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go outside in a minute and hoover up all the dust outside for Chris. Chris you know, I think that is actually, no joke. I think that's a thermo. You roll with it. Because my nan used to get a perm like that. How we're still allowed in Angelica's house, I do not know. But one thing I have spotted, my darlings. Oh. Don't touch my trophy. It says on it, Angelica Bell, Celebrity MasterChef Champion 2017. Winning Celebrity MasterChef was mega. Okay, let's not get it twisted. I've not won anything before in my life. I'm really proud of myself. I think it's important for us to say that we're proud of ourselves. It's got a cookbook out and everything. So I'm reckoning that we take that down, we go and have a cup of tea, we show her that, and we ask her to cook us something. But before that, let's meet up with Yagaman Chris. The man, the myth, the legend, yeah, Mr. Chris. The job today, and I'm looking forward to it, but we're just talking through the job on the best ways we're gonna do it and how we're gonna approach it in terms of longevity. Because you don't wanna do a job and they have to come back a couple of years later because it was done wrong, so. Just change your phone number, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. Predominantly, I do strictly plastering, rendering, floor screeds, anything to do with uh, property maintenance in terms of Plastering, yeah, that's, that's my trade. You're always looking for the best way to do the job, you know, so that's what we're here to do today, so. Let's talk more work then, Chris. That's it, mate, I'm gonna crack on. <laughs> Taking the rendering off isn't easy. I didn't realise how thick it was. Obviously, I knew it cover, rendering covers the bricks and it protects the bricks and it's also good aesthetically and stuff like that. But they've been at it. There's dust everywhere. They might goof around and muck around, but as soon as they saw the render and they're like, yeah, that needs to get done. And they explained to me why. And also came inside to be like, look, this is the impact it's having on the house. So get it sorted. So, they're good eggs. Yeah, you're lovely, having a cup of tea. You. you wanted two sugars? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a look at what we've done. That's for your extractor in there. So right. we we'll put a new vent back on there. Yeah. Once we've rendered it up. We got rid of the old water, the hose pipe for you as well. Oh, amazing. Get your man to rerun a new is one. That, is that where all the... Uh, plus is crumbling on the other side. The other side. That's where your extractor fan is there. But you know what? I reckon that might be a coal bunker where they used to chuck the coal into the kitchen. Yeah. That one. That's definitely that a window. One. That's a window there. That yeah. could have been a coal bunker there, isn't it? Could have been. I love that history. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Like back in the day, you have to have coal delivered to your house. Yeah, and how it would get in. And... Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the British history, that is. Mm. Chris, you're looking forward to this, aren't you? I am. I'm really back? looking forward to it. I'll get my teeth into this and get it nice and flat. So passionate. Yeah, you can tell. Like, yeah. you're like... I, 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 you know what? I do take my work seriously. But you're only as good as your last job, they say, so. There ain't many blokes out there in the industry and in the trade who love their craft like Chris does. And he always takes his time and he always does it properly. He does not miss a beat. You happy so far? I'm loving it. You got a smile on your face? Me time. That's good because we might wipe that off in a minute. Oh yeah. It's oyster time. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? What's what's on the Is that Bring the oysters, cuz! Angelica's worst TV moment which she said was to eat an oyster. We are now going to make her relive that moment and eat an oyster. The ball builders, they just seem to come in different guises. Okay, one minute, they're doing building. Next minute, they're researchers. So we're about to taste some oysters. My first ever oyster. First so, ever one. I've got psychologicals. <laughs> I've got psychologicals. I'm telling you now, I'm not going to, I'm not guessing. Psychological. <laughs> the I'm, I'm, I'm not. That's coming back up. That is not going down. These are the worst looking oysters I've ever seen in my life. And just, no. I, I can't swallow that. No way. The textures, it's too slimy. No, no. We're going to put a little bit of Tabasco on it. This is what I've heard. This, oh my god. Great. <laughs> oh, he went for the big one. Go on, you took it. You took it. You took it. I actually picked the biggest oyster somehow. I do not know how I done it, but stupidly, the one that hates the things, food like that the most, has picked the biggest oyster. I'll <laughs> 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 rub your back while you do it. Right, okay. I'll rub your back. We're gonna go gully star, Go on. Go on. <laughs> 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 Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. 
No, that is not for me, mate. Oysters is not for me. He's a sausage, Bob. He tried to eat that four or five times and he couldn't keep it down. I mean, Yaga just summed it up. It's difficult to go down. <sighs> really? Oh, I've still got sausage. <laughs> 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 Yes! Oh, no way! Boom, Bob! No, 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 I can't believe you! I think Brad cheated. I don't think he actually had the oyster in the thing. I think he just had a bit of liquid. I mean, look at the glee, the happiness that Brad had swallowing that oyster. He loved it that much and he nearly fell over. You've got this, man. You go can on. do this. You oh, can come. do this, bro. I believe One, in you, bro. Two, three, go, go. I believe in both oh, of you. Do another count. Do go another on, count. ready? One, One two, two, three, go! go. Go on, just swallow. <laughs> as soon as that touched my mouth, I was like, no, thank you, that's not coming in. Sam, you better go and clean that up, boy. Eating your oyster was disgusting. And also, not, and because Sam was, like, gagging, just made it even more unappetising. <laughs> you made him gag. Oh, that's right. Did he swallow it? Oh. Come on. Yes! Ooh. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> that's even worse! That tastes like She's... pure seawater. I think she deep down enjoyed her oyster. The way she golloped that oyster, was like, it was gone in one. Oysters, oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, so we know that Angelica won MasterChef back in 2017. I've got five ingredients in here which we're going to try and see if she can guess the smell of first and then we're going to get her to knock up a dish with these five random ingredients that we've got. So we're going to pop in and see her. As you know, Angelica is a master chef champion. And the segment is going to be called, What's the Smell, Angelica Bell? <laughs> Sam, the editor, he come up with the name, What's the Smell, Angelica Bell, where we basically give Angelica the challenge of finding what the smell is. What's the smell, Angelica Bell? Make sure you're not peeking. I promise. I'm gonna get the ingredients, I've got them on the table, so we can all see what they are. There you go, right, we have got five ingredients. Which one do you want to go with first? Let's we'll start with this one. No touching, only smelling. Are you ready? Yes. I'm so nervous wearing a blindfold in front of all business because they just get up to mischief. They've been around my house, they've tried my clothes on. She felt vulnerable then when she put them old masks on. She was like, no funny business. Mm -hmm. This is your first item. Oh, that's cheese. Put it in cheesecakes. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one might be quite hard. It's quite hard to get. Are you ready? Yeah. Now think about the way you're living. Think about convenience. Yeah. Yeah? I know that smell. It's the sort of thing my woman give me for dinner. <laughs> His missus better not stand for that. The only, the only thing you need for it is a kettle. That smells, wait, that smells, you know those sachets? When I was little, mm. I used to put them in a cup, mm. put it in hot water and put a little salt, you have to have a sachet, like noodles, sort of thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Hot noodles. Yeah! <laughs> Yes. Yes. An extra point for the flavour. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, chicken. Chicken, <laughs> And to be fair, what Brad said about his missus gives him for dinner, I will vouch for him on that because Ree is not a very good cook. She cooks potatoes well, but I think that's about it. This is your next smell, Angelica Bell. <laughs> We're getting paid 20 beer every time I go. <laughs> I'm going to mention it on radio every day. <laughs> right, here we go. How can you smell broccoli? What does broccoli smell like? It's like cressel, isn't mm. it? Looks like a tree. Broccoli. Yeah, Ooh. that's the one that gives it away. Yes, there's hardly any smell to that one. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah, thought it was more like cress. Okay. Four okay. fight them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting into this now. This one is. This one. Ooh. I reckon this one's easy but tricky at the same time. Yeah. To you, could, what you could get confused, couldn't you? Tin fish. 
Yeah, go on, what, 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 what? what? Tim Salmon. No. Mackerel. Yeah! Yay! Come on! Yeah, that's a pauper's dish, that is. Growing up, my uncle used to give me that on toast. Mackerel on toast. Like 50p a tin, slice of bread, 15p. That's your dinner bread. Yeah. I love it, mackerel toast. Right, last one. What's the smell? Angelica Bell. <laughs> Oh, what? oh. It smells like dog food. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pedigree charm. I've eaten dog food, so I can legitimately say that stuff tastes like dog food. I did get slightly worried that it was dog food. Oh, it's like, it's is it like tin. spam? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Phrase, bentos, um, spam. Ooh, spam's look, spam, you're there. Ham. But we think it's a cheaper version. What's another version of ham, non-cooked? <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> no, non-cooked ham, when you've got to cook it. Scammers. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. I think you've got to keep that in you. Yeah, yeah, you've got, got to give it a spam. It's spam, spam. Oh, bacon, no! bacon grill, bacon grill. Go oh. on, take your, take your thing off. There you go. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, fuck. One more bonus point. Can you notice what's gone from the table? <coughs> My boss. <laughs> Right, now you've got your ingredients, you have 15 minutes to knock us up some lovely bit of lunch. Right, I'm on it. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Amazing, I'm on it. Right, right. Do this and work. <laughs> My gosh. The time restraint actually made me believe I was back on MasterChef because that's what happens. You like, you've got this much time to make something. I didn't think too much, I just went for it because I knew they would be on that clock. <laughs> so I just got in the zone. I was like, okay, what can I do using these ingredients? I just got it to work. I had no idea how it would turn out at the end, but I just gave it a go. Remembering all those tips and tricks I learned along the way. I think John and Greg from MasterChef would be very impressed with the ingredients I had, how I utilised them, and the end product. All right, dinner is served! Okay. <laughs> Well, wow, what? that looks good. Yeah, look at that. Come on. <laughs> I'm very impressed with how it looks. Broccoli, I sauteed it, some olive oil, mm. added a bit some chilli flakes mm -hmm. and a bit of seasoning. The mackerel, mm -hmm. I mixed with the Philadelphia. Uh, good idea, that's what I've done. Well. I've done that. Yeah. It's got that tuna sort of vibe, isn't it? And then you've got um, bacon Bacon done. La don. Yeah. <laughs> Pan fried, are they? Pan, Pan, Pan fried. fried, yeah, yeah I can see that. And that was good. That's what I've got Yeah, that is good, isn't it? Yeah. It's <laughs> good, are you happy with that? I'm happy <laughs> with that. Credit when credit's due. When you're given a selection of ingredients that when you first look at it, you think, what am I meant to make? And then she produces that little bit of Master Chef genius. -y. We're oh, making the most of what we got. Oh, I missed a bit of needles there. Story of my life. Mmm. That's nice, that's nice. Isn't it? Mmm. That's smoky as well, isn't it? Mmm. Tell you what, I prefer the oyster. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, I prefer Brad. That is really nice. That's banging. We'll go again. That mackerel cuts with the mm. pom noodles. That right? mackerel, yeah. That's a real good way of getting your protein in as well. Mm. That's like tuna, that's like a tuna mayo. You know what? I'll get it at 11. Oh, 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 what are you after? No, 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 what are you no, after? No, 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 what are you after? Where's your mayo? Listen, you're a bit close there. Mate! No, genuinely, you get 11. That buckled me. When the lady gets on her knees in that position, <laughs> It was banging. I gave her 11 out of 10, like, literally. <laughs> like, hello, if I was to give that to my wife or my son, <laughs> clean place. With those ingredients, you know how to cook. He's so serious with this. He's so serious. He's so serious. Mate, I'm fussy, you know, but I'll come back three times, that's nice. Yeah. Yaga always comes through. We just have to, to build you up, boost you up. Christian, take the bowl, bro. Yeah. I'm just running. No, 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 See you later. Yeah, no, 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 no,
And then for the rest of the week, Chris is going to be Amazing. here with his crew of renderers. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to come back and take all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. And we're going to come back and we're like, da da! But what I love about you is that you own I'm it. Honest. You're I'm honest. You're so honest. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been brilliant. It is snowing, of all things. I know. Yeah. I know. You're going to be all right in the, if it's snowing the rest of the week. It's touch and go, isn't it? It's touch and go, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll, I'll muscle through it. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye. Ciao. One week later, the boys are back to the job to see the progress on my house. Right, here we go. Day two, back at Jelly Belly's house. Jelly Belly. I like to call her Jelly Belly rather than Angelica. Angelly. We should have been back last week, but due to weather, it was frost freezing. and whatever else, Chris couldn't get on and lay the rendering on, could he? No. So he's had a little bit of a drama, but also... A little bit more work than what he thought. Well, he's put the beads on, by the sounds of it, and to get them bang on plumb level, etc., the rendering's going on at 30, 40 mil thick, and yeah. then some places are 20 mil, 10 mil. So basically, lots more material, and mm -hmm. it's not the sort of material that you can just pop to the shop and buy. No, it's you, specialist. It's specialist stuff, because it's obviously lime-based. So he's had to have it delivered. Yes. And with that becomes delivery times and so forth. Times, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not the quickest delivery time. <laughs> looking nice, Papa. Yeah, that looks sick. Looking nice, old Chris is down there, boy. Looking forward to seeing my mate Chris. I'm looking forward to seeing Yagamai. Yeah, baby, we're back. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Chrissy. Good morning, we are back. Yeah, I got a bra, brother. What are you saying? You good? You good? You good? Where's the young lady herself? Is she about? Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> the wanderers have returned. Looking lovely, isn't Look it? Look at this. Looking amazing. He's had a few issues, we've been told, on the phone. And whenever you do a hack off, you never know what's underneath. And that's when we found out what was going on. We had bits of brickwork missing, we had fence that were covered up, the cracks and stuff. We have, we have to sort of address with the Healy bar systems. There's a lot going on before we can actually start plastering. And then I found out later, we've got to stick the beads off to 25 mil, so that's gonna cause another problem, but I'm sure we get over it and it will be a uh, pucker. <laughs> They're promising me sleek lines, a perfect finish. And until I see it, I'm not gonna believe it. You happy with his company? Oh, he has a good time. Oh. And I think that's really poor when someone's working in your space, yeah. you've got to have an energy and a synergy. Yeah. The guy is solid. I mean, he is professional, he's worked late, and he's a perfectionist. And I love it when you see people who love their work and take pride in their work. So what are you doing? What are you putting on top of here? The limestone out there to match that? Yeah, so we're going to put the coping stones, aren't we, on top of here? And then maybe like a little small Sort of fence, More iron fence. Iron, yeah, just to protect, which I think will just finish it off. And that give looks it a lovely. Little, yeah. Well, look at how smooth this is like. It's lovely. And it's also, a, he put that steel, seal in there, isn't he? Oh, that is brilliant. Because that rolled down. Yeah. Because I didn't even think of that before. Nor did I. It's those little touches that make you think, ah, to protect it in the long run. It's like all things, it's all in the prep. Once the prep's done right, I'm confident it's going to be a great job. That just looks so square when you look down them so two walls. Square. Parallel, isn't it? And you had the tape measure on it? Huh? You had the tape measure on yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. This man had laser. I thought I was in some Matrix film. <laughs> like. Chris is a stickler for preparation, and I think that's key for anything if you want a job done properly. Do you know they had a nice tiled at some point, maybe? Tiled there with a pattern, and then tiled up the stairs, and then stop, and then resin the rest. Ah, that looks sexy. That'd make a right feature of that, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I always see the idea, you know, he's got the air for yeah. the thing, you know, honestly. I told you, it's the posh ball builders. Yeah. Posh ball builders. <laughs> Darling, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and I love it when somebody's working and they're like, yes! They're like, yeah, what I'm doing is brilliant, so it makes you feel comfortable. So I was like, yeah, yeah. If Chris is happy, I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, girl. <laughs> So after a pucker and productive week at Angelica's house, I think it's time we show you the final result. This is more than 
my jeans, it would look like. I'm so blown away. It's and good. It's so different as well. It's like it's a new house. It's all about curb appeal. And that side of the house is beautiful. He's done such a good job. I'm so happy. And I just really appreciate the hard work and time he's put into that. And also having the board builders here as well, they know what they're doing. It's, it's that collaboration of working together and fixing things and coming up with solutions. That has just been really incredible to watch. I'm, I'm really happy actually with the result of the job. I think the quality of the finish is top notch. We've corrected lots of problems throughout. There's been a few hurdles that Chris has had to get over. Credit where credit is due, I think the finish of that project is 10 out of 10. There's not one bit I'm not happy with. I couldn't have done any better, so that's all I can say. It was a 10 out of 10 for me. Thank you. The bulk of the work is done. Mm -hmm. So you lot are going to go. But we we're, can go. You can go, but we are going to keep you informed. Well, we, he's coming with us, so what? we're going to leave you a bag of material, and I think Jelly should just finish off the reveals. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've had a great time as you can tell, trust me. It's been great, man. I love it. I like being your backup dancer. Get behind me. Everyone, let's dance. Hey, 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 h